they had Manny. Manny's like poppy communist, but then you have Young here. Young is Young is like studious uncle communist. Oh, no, that's here. not oh, true. But, and I'm what are you guys down. doing? Collecting communists for fuck's sake? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 yeah. Maybe I Izo, you can explain the fucking, to Young why the fucking why walks of communism here for fuck's sake. I'm just yeah, yeah. So, I'm just so one thing, right? I'm just so maybe what you could do, Izo, is explain to Young why his Marxism yeah. Leninism is morally terrible. I'd love to. See, I think I'd he already know. knows. Most of these people choose it because it's because it's edgy, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Young, Young is really? the edgiest person I know. Young is very edgy. <laughs> I just want to. I'm like not really in the condition right now. It's like 7 a.m. <laughs> now we're talking about Carl Young. I'm pretty like <laughs> gone, not in a sober state right now. Can't really. I just like love it though, because like Young is like so like he's very calm, you know, and like I mean, who could ever get bad at like Young's like you know like monotone like calm voice? Jay Dyer. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Sweet. My but, style I mean, is to flip my shit. Look, Young, you're just clearly not defending your fucking weird communist sophistry. Look, if, like, um, I guess this <laughs> seems like, a, well, I, I know it comes off as one, but I'm, like, really not in the condition, like, physically speaking right now. It's just, like, not. Yeah, Young, young recently got laid by <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not that. He's like, been I'm smoking just... fat dubes all night. It's like, I, I can't deal with this, uh, I, I with, wish, this, with this bourgeois I argument. Were, I wish it were, like, like dubs, you know, like, weeds generally. So on a scale of 1 to 10, Young, how communist are you? Well, Jews are super bourgeois, I mean, like... I'd say, like, um... He's a Jews? <laughs> I, th I think, like, my, my <laughs> kind of... <laughs> my kind of, um... I guess my situation is, like... Um, in terms of arguments and holding the beliefs that constitute Marxism, I'm pretty much like a hundred percent communist, right? But um, when it comes to, I guess, my personal life, I'm just like not of that. Okay, um, so <laughs> wait, wait a second. Are you saying that you're will you argue from a strong position, but you yourself don't hold the strong position? No, I didn't say I didn't hold the position. I hold no, all saying, the beliefs. He's right? saying so he's wait, a you... filthy bourgeois. Yeah, I'm saying I'm saying that as a communist, I'm not like. You know, because there's a part of being a communist that's like not just holding beliefs, but being like politically active. Right, right. right. And and given that uh, most working class parties that I would support, given my beliefs, kind of wisely only accept working class people into the party. Right. It just turns mm -hmm. out to be basically unfeasible given these factors and given like a like you know a generous amount of laziness on my part i guess um it's kind of <laughs> impossible it's kind of impossible right for me to be uh, politically active as of right now i guess you know so you hold people. the beliefs but you just don't act them out i'm kind of like so the point well, the point well, is like well, no young I'm, realizes that he's dying in the revolution so yeah yeah no, why, no, like, why would he point, support the point is is something like you know, like seeing Marxism as like purely prescriptive, right? I think there's a few things that you can um, point to given like one would be the LTV, uh, the other would be historical materialism, right? And then, you know, history of communist politics, right? <clears throat> like those things basically, right? They have like descriptive entailments that I agree with, but I'm not like, so to say, it would be something like, you know, I know that communism is probably happening or socialism is, is probably happening or given LTV that capitalism will cease to exist. But I'm not quite sure I'm like morally on board with that. Right. OK. I think, okay. Right. I, think I, I see what you're saying. saying. It could be the case so that communism potential. happens and that it sucks, right, is the kind of idea. Right. Or that it's, it has all these undesirable um, properties. So, like... Sounds like you're just going off like. Do you not? So, do you not want us to have a communist state, or are you saying that it would be immoral to have it, but it's something? You no, I guess I'm sort of agnostic on the issue. Is what I'm saying, right? Okay. Because so you want to learn you know, more about it, basically. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think there's like reasons, right, 
to point to the idea that communism is actually a lot better as a society, right? Theoretically mm-hmm. speaking, of course, than um, mm-hmm. than capitalism, right? For the well-being of people generally, right? Um, you know, mentally and blah blah blah. Um, but there's still something, I guess, that's personal, right? Which, given the fact that I'm not exactly working class, right? Yeah, I still have these, uh, I guess, advantages, right? That lead me to have some sympathies and uh, some stuff about capitalism, right? So it like renders me agnostic towards whether or not I want it, you know? Would you say okay. it's possible for people in the working class to be sympathetic towards capitalism? Yeah, oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it'd, it'd, it'd be sympathetic mistaken. in what ways? Sympathetic in what I think, ways? I, I think, yeah, I think I'd Like, in terms mistaken. of what capitalism gives, like, community-wise, what? Sure. Yeah, that's one aspect I can imagine, but... Um, as a whole, I don't think you could be really, you know, the... It's like barely any pros to capitalism. So. Yeah, because, like, I mean, you hear people, like, my, my stepdad is... What do you mean there's barely any pros to capitalism? For what? a working class person. For a working what do you class mean? Person. Oh, well, that's not true. Uh, look, there are pros and cons. Thing to say. But also, generally, Wonder, there's like, awesome pros to capitalism. Yeah, well, there are, right? But it depends. Like, for working class people, I guess it's like a harder case to make, generally speaking, right? Like, the point is that it seems that, that, that the gift, the, I, I at least, what I see is that the gifts of capitalism, right? The great gifts of capitalism and its revolutionary kind of function. You know, it made it obtained, I guess, but it's not something that's still happening present day, right? I tend to hold a view that actually capitalism has, like, you know, kind of given a lot in the beginning and progressed a bunch of shit in the beginning, and that it kind of stagnated, you know, and it started being kind of awful, you know. So I think that's where we're at, like right so now. So basically, <laughs> you're not against capitalism entirely, at least not. You just don't like where it ends up. Well, I just don't think it's sustainable, is the idea. Yeah. Why is communism sustainable? Well, I don't know of any, you know, I don't, I don't know of any tendency under a cam, un, under a communist society, right, that would make me believe that it would like fall or something, you know. Yeah, the idea. I know it's kind of a cliche, and I'm not an expert, but how about the Soviet Union? Why do they think well, kind of an interesting example? The Soviet Union just. Slightly relevant. <laughs> what What do you think yeah. of like in what sense how the how the Soviet Union fell is the idea? Hey, you yeah, know what else yeah. wasn't sustainable? C- communism in Cambodia. Remember that? Yeah. You know yeah. what, you know what else about that's sustainable? Is capitalism in itself. Yeah, because of course that's like the kind of. Oh, there's just like, so much empirical ex- evidence that capitalism isn't yeah, sustainable. But, Whereas yeah, there's empirical you, evidence communism isn't sustainable. Wait, why would you b- believe? Why would you believe, right, that mm-hmm. any communist would be for, right, or see his beliefs as the same as like Stalinism, right, or Pol Pot's politics? Well, would you believe- when someone tells you they're a Nazi, do you think they agree with Adolf Hitler? Is that is there just like a possibility that there's like some common ground there? Or not? Well, the point is that you're just picking a very specific example, right? Given that, if I were to, you know, build, ask you. Um, if you were to ask like a fascist, whatever, you know, um, you could get a bunch of results for the kind of specific opinion or like what, specific position you, that they hold, right? Taking they a really could be, positive they could be, view of this, what if, what if you just change to a political ideology where you didn't have to make excuses all the time? Well, what hold if on. You didn't have to spend wait, your wait, time and energy I just want to ask, making let, excuses let, for mass that, murder. Well, well, before we go there, look, Young, look, hold on, it's wait. Just wow. very, it's young. just very simple, right? Don't just look, give me a second, right? Like, the point is just very simple, right, is that we believe that there's one or two authors in particular, right, who have excellent theoretical work and understanding of how societies functioned historically, right? You get those two people, uh, you right, right? All right. No, it's not excellent, it's a joke! Hold on, hold on, I I just want to ask you... Right, as as, uh, firm beliefs, I guess. So, Young... Then you have a bunch of shit. What, whatever. What, what are you saying? Yeah, I just want to let me just ask this and then I'll shut up. So, has there been any kind of communist state, or has there been anything close to it in the no, world? I'm not a communist state, I wouldn't say. What would you say Venezuela is, for example? Well, as far as I understand, I guess in the past, 
Venezuela in the past like 20 years for instance like the 20 years ago or something like that as, as far as I'm aware um, Venezuela was actually quite you know potentially quite a like a promising socialist country I guess you know and mm-hmm. it was considered to be revolutionary right but nowadays as I see it right I can't really differentiate the style that Venezuela has in government and economy from like European social democracy, right? Given that 70% of production in um, Venezuela is, if I remember correctly, is privately owned, basically, right? It doesn't seem like that's any um, like situation that will get you or like merit the term socialism, right? When you have most of your economy that's obviously privately owned, it seems just like not wise to call it socialism. What would it, would it have taken to get Venezuela to basically be what you would consider consider communist? Well, it depends on country to country, and unfortunately on Venezuela, I'm not specifically informed, right? So that I couldn't give you the, prob- the probable blunder, I guess, that okay. happened in the party or would, wherever else. Would you be able to name a, a blunder of a country that attempted it? The Soviet Union. What what did they mess up? Well, the I think what happened. Communist. Well, I think well, this is tied to a Not view I guess, that it's called in Marxism. But the idea is that um, during the Russian Civil War, right, mm-hmm. in the Bolshevik Party, there were um, like there was a big lack basically of working class people, right? Given that. Russia at the time was in a semi-feudal state, right? So that the industrial working class wasn't even much of a presence to begin with. And then by, well, I guess via the Civil War, um, a bunch of more people died, right? In the million. Yeah. Yes, right. And those were mostly working class, of course. Um, so the idea in, in Bolshevism is that what do you, what you need to do with your party is keep it mostly working class, right? But that's tied to a view, right? That basically says that I guess the the material like the material conditions that you're in in the party, meaning yeah. your working class, and that you get paid can the I, same. That, that you get I, one second, one second. That you get paid paid the same um, uh, as a normal working class person, right? Those are like mechanisms okay. to ensure. Okay. That the party follows a working class interest. So and what way... happened? What happened under the, uh, after the civil war is that, given this lack of working class people, there was an influx of petty bourgeois people in yeah. uh, in the party, and uh, of petty bourgeois mentality, I guess. And the the idea is that that's kind of the rise of the Russian bureaucracy that we know as like, Stalinism. Okay. Right? No? So how would you prevent working class people that you know take up these positions of power from becoming bourgeois no but the point is that they were not working class right it's not like they became bourgeois it was a fact that it was just like merely an absence of of working class people due to a very unfortunate historical kind of contingency you know the the civil war okay. there was just an absence of working class people to fill with expertise i guess to fill such uh, a party role so that only well, have, like just to get get people who had expertise politically speaking uh, basically the bolsheviks had to gather members or um, party yeah party members from uh the petty bourgeoisie right what if being bourgeois is a necessary component on having what you would say the skill to hold these positions no, but that, that that's just like an empirical case, right? And like the point is, you there you just have to say to say something like that. You have to justify the view, right? That merely by being born into a class that translates to some kind of advantage, or well, that it that that demonstrates some like uh, being better, I guess, or whatever. Well, you could say from a strictly blank slate perspective that being born into a bourgeois class would give you the opportunity to have and develop these skills, and uh, that just might not be available to the working class in any circumstance. No, but like the point is that it's obvious that petty bourgeois people or bourgeois people have better. I guess chances, right? But 
the idea is that if you're a socialist, right, you just believe that given um, the right material conditions provided to working class people, namely the material conditions that petty bourgeois people get to all working people, mm -hmm. then you get a working class that is basically more capable, right? That is basically more capable. And uh, so, yeah, like it's like it, I, I'm like very doubtful on the idea anyways, right, that there's like more productive and useful stuff being created in the petty bourgeoisie and the working class that seems very dubious but um even granted that right like the idea is that in socialism you're just gonna have people who are working class and have their own interests right be met or be given um the right material conditions so that they can thrive right intellectually whatever right Okay, but how do you, and maybe you answered this and I just didn't understand, but how is it that you prevent these people from becoming bourgeois? Like, if you're teaching them um, the skills of the bourgeois and everything there is to know about the bourgeois, how do you prevent No, but them? you wouldn't teach them. Burn. But you wouldn't. That's, it's a good point. What the fuck yeah. happens to the rich children of fucking Communist Party leaders in China? You can look at that in every society. You can read you the again, new class by Miller Vangelis. Even within fucking Yugoslavia, that happened. Guess what? You stop working in a factory, you become part of a goddamn bureaucratic elite fucking military dictatorship, and yeah, hey, like, you don't really have any like, of the characteristics of being working class anymore. But, but like you see, right, like, you know, like the account that I gave for a bureaucracy existing, right, is like based on, act on something actually historical, right? It's not just saying you're working class and then when you exit the working class, you become a bureaucrat, right? It just seems obvious that like, at least my analysis of it is actually basing itself on something that's not rhetoric, right? While you are. It's just rhetoric what you're doing, right? What do you mean just rhetoric? It's simply rhetoric. Like, there's nothing substantive there, is the point. So tell me something. If you were engaged in a critique of Islam <clears throat> and the different attempts to have an Islamic state, would you make the same excuses that you're making here for communism? To wit, um, different societies in different periods of time historically have taken the Quran and the Hadith, have taken the holy books of Islam, and have tried to create a society, tried to govern and rule and legislate a society based on those books. The results have been different in each instance. For example, you know, Saudi Arabia within the last 20 years has been significantly different from the Islamic State. However, we can nevertheless come to conclusions. We can draw conclusions to the effect that building a society based on Islamic theocracy, building a society based on the Quran and the Hadith is a bad idea, even though each one of those societies was a disaster in a different way. They were nevertheless disasters. You just have By to the have same arguments token, for it. Can we not come to the conclusion that although Cambodia and Laos and Cuba and Soviet Union and China and Yugoslavia, even though they're each different, wouldn't it be reasonable to come to similar conclusions about the viability of a communist society, communism as a philosophy? It's just a we it's just a weak inductive inference, right? Like all you can do there is say, look, there's these the majority rights of these countries that proclaim themselves to be socialists were, in fact, pretty much failures, right? But that's no true Scotsman and given, fallacy. No true no. Scotsman. Same with no true Islam. Just, so any, I'm, any I'm, I'm Muslim, would you accept it from I'm a Muslim? I'm Muslim says your to point. you, a Muslim says to you that there's I'm, never been a true Islamic state. I was Islamic agreeing state. with him. I was agreeing with him. I was saying, look, there's all these countries that, let's say, are socialist even, right? Or whatever. Um, and they all fail or whatever, or like most of them fail, let's say, um, then it's just going to be a weak inductive inference, right, to say that given that that's the case, it's less likely that co that socialism will succeed in the future, right? But what you have, like, you can do that, right, but the point is that you're going to have to compete, right, with century-old, by now at least, um, historical analyses of what happened in these societies, right? And see what the better explanation is, right? For any other philosophy, you would how never that, claim that, that, that the principles excuse? of the Quran are still good and inviolable and work on a chalkboard. You'd never claim that there's a plan for a perfect society 
in the Quran and the Hadith, and it's just a shame that nobody ever perfectly implemented it. You look at that historical record and say, okay, no plan. there are there's serious no plan. recurring there's problems no. with this philosophy. The there's by the no same token, there, why would you ignore the... There's no plan, right, for the perfect society or whatever in Marx, right? It's just, you know, like the idea of Marxism, I think, is like a lot more conservative than you actually think. I, I just mean by that that it's not actually entailing as much as you think, right? Okay. Like so the, the view, the view simple, is just one question, second. Question. Just one second, just one second, just one second, right? The view is kind of simple, right? The idea is that... Um, Historically, right, there's things that arise out of uh, material necessity, right? There's it means no, that you're not going to okay. summarize the whole of Marxism here. There's okay. no point. Okay. okay. It's a very, very simple binary question. Do, does Marx or does Marx not believe that class war is a good thing? As in, it, well, as in, class war. it's good. I as think, in, I think that's a me, very, really simple yes no question let, for you. Let to me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to say yes or no. Um, as in a uh, class war just in a revolutionary have, environment, have read, I guess, have yes. Have you read Marx? Yes, you, I'm, yes. I'm kidding? Well, you okay. think, look, so, like, the, the so point societies, is that... Societies... Just, who is this guy? What is, why is he ever talking to me? So look, societies yeah. built on class who war. Who is this guy? That's been who tried. is this guy? Right? Who is this guy? <laughs> it's, there's a difference between class struggle <laughs> and class war. Right? I when I show that's up, not the same everybody thing. knows my name. So you got right. Yeah. No one okay. gives a fuck about your name. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you do. I don't. <laughs> like, you just like moved away, right, from like a couple of different questions, right, and then just they like asked a yes or no that led nowhere. What was this dude, guy? Who's this moron? You you know damn well Marxism is built on the principle of class war. You know that many different societies have been built in an attempt. I don't think you know action. what it means. It's a great well, parallel to Islam. Oh, you think I don't, but I do. No, you and just don't know what, what happens when you have a society, right? a legal system, whatever you want to put it, built on class war. Okay, another really simple question. Command you're just, economy. You're just, does you're Marxism just, or does Marxism just, not just, want to replace free market with a command economy? Yes or no? Is this, guy, that been tried? Is this guy getting upset because I wrecked him so hard? Look, like the no, point is... No, it's just because right, you're just fucking moving at a slow pace look, and you're recycling look, propaganda just, that's every bit as noxious as a neo-Nazi making excuses for Adolf Hitler. Yes, of course. Let's you're, do you're, 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 you're a neo-Nazi. Who's this buffoon? Oh, yeah. Where did you get this guy from? Who killed, who killed more people? Who killed more people? Mao Zedong or Adolf Hitler? Who killed more people? Joseph Mar Stalin. Adolf, like, was actually, like, you know, like, he had a good point. He was just trying to help the Jews go back to, like, Israel, you know? Yes, like, of course. Because, <laughs> like, like, Jews are just, like, bourgeois. Okay, wait, fuck. can we just stop derailing? Let's just let, uh, sorry, sorry, I don't mean to be rude, um, but let's just let Isel and Young talk. Sweet. You don't yeah. need to be rude in, talk, in, in cutting off anti-Semitic comments. All right, cool. No. <laughs> Is this I, well, look, I, I don't uh, look, Dirk, just what, whatever. That's not my intention, what you just said there, but that's fine. I know. Just, the whole, the, she was just I, saying I, the I whole didn't, I didn't, I didn't, thing I didn't, I, I, I didn't even register. I was just thinking about what you guys were a saying. A little bit, okay. a little bit edgy. Okay, okay, don't take it out on me. I'm not even thinking about that. I just came in oh. because I heard someone I, else talking. Wait, Mary, I wasn't even thinking about the content of what she's saying. And if she's saying it, it's just some edgy meme. But let's just let them talk. All right. It just seems like useless, though, right? Like, look at this, what this guy's doing. He's just, like, doing rhetoric and, like, you know, give this guy a megaphone, like a cardboard, like, cutout and shit. And, like, he could be, like, outside a wall. Uh, like, so you think what you were offering before was not rhetoric? You think your series of mealy-mouthed excuses for communism are not rhetoric? You, it's just like you you're asking a question. This kind of like, excuse-making. What you're doing is, Nick, like, you're asking a question, right? You're asking a question. You get a response. That response gives you no options to go forward, right? Because, like, you think that this stuff is going to, like, wreck the position or some shit, but it's, like, really weak rhetoric yeah. that, like, Stephen you Crowder began, will do, right? Before I started talking, oh, yes, right. You began by claiming that the historical record of actually existing communism is irrelevant. Because none of them count. I didn't as true say that. I didn't say no that. true Scots. Oh, it's a great time to interrupt you. But I didn't say that, that right? I just here? didn't say yes, that. You did. Yes, you did. And I pointed what out to him. No, he didn't. He said it was a weak what? inductive inference. Yeah, I was talking about said, your weak inductive inference. He said it was before inference. I started talking to him. He said very clearly that he does not count the I mean, record of actually recorded. existing communist states, this, such as the Soviet Union and so on. That's not, not even the kind of thing a communist would say. That's not even the, just like that's not plausible. Shit. This guy's just like...
is he like actually really stupid or is yeah. he just Young, this is this is night three in a row oh. completely dismantled. okay like, can we like, look, he can, look Brent, he doesn't stop, even know stop stop stop, stop stop let Eisel and young talk please but, everyone I mean, I say, everyone else just young, stop cutting in and just let them with talk. the proposition you yes, I came with the, I, I came with the proposition that socialism doesn't exist. Everyone is actually like a capitalist and shit, and uh, you, you know, you yeah, shit like that. You know, communism. Examined you. If communism has ever the existed night, historically, and if you and if you consider night? those examples of actually to? existing communist states as as examples of real communism, and you said no. So this is equivalent to, that's why I presented with you parallelism. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's parallelism. communism. It's obviously <clears throat> not communism, right? Like, even if the Soviet Union, so right, is considered... Would you accept just like, that Let argument? me talk, let me talk, let, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk, right? Even if the Soviet Union, right, or Mao's China, or Democratic Kampucha, right, um, or North Korea or some shit, right? Even if people construe those countries to be socialist, which I believe it's not, that they're not, no. and I have, I think I have good reasons too, but even if we concede that they are, right, they're definitely not communist, right? You know that. So if, again, would you accept this from a Muslim fundamentalist who says to you, oh no, a true Islamic state has never been attempted, that examples like Iran and Saudi Arabia, those aren't real examples of theocracy because only the version of Islamic fundamentalism in his own mind or that he thinks is perfectly encapsulated in a sacred text, like the Quran and the Hadith, mm -hmm. that only that would really be an Islamic state. Do you not see the, the problem here? No, I just and like... why I have, the argument I have, made? You've said look, it's just rhetoric. It's not because, just rhetoric. Of course it's just rhetoric. Look, like, yeah. the point is that... Okay, regarding refusing Islamic to learn states, from the empirical experience of history on this basis just, is bad yeah, and dangerous what, and wrong, regardless of which what ideology... Mean, but that's, that's just nonsense, right, to say something mm. like that, because it's just a value judgment that you're making. It's just like mm. saying, looking back at history and seeing that uh, the, the, the damage that capitalism does and will do is reason to not be a capitalist. It's just garbage, right? So I asked you a couple of real simple binary questions about very definite, verifiable And I told, and I gave you all answers, taken, but you're just like not taking it there. anywhere. Okay, well, now you don't know what the sense is about. Have, have fun responding to half a sentence. Well, I, did, I, I, I don't really wish to, is the point, right? But imagine how much better your life would be if you were a member of an ideology that didn't. My life is really, my, my life is like excuses. really cool. I guess right now I'm like really having you, fun. I have good opportunities, you know, stuff like that. I'm good, right? Just don't do this shit. It, I, I hope you enjoy making excuses for the deaths of tens of millions of people. That's the ideology you, you've signed up for, and that's what you've been doing. What's that? Um, What's that told? Well, that's nice. The it just doesn't seem like you have demonstrated that. The argument I was presenting is that empirical and historical experience really matters and that only dangerous ideologues like yourself and supporters of the Islamic State want to disregard history through engaging in a new true Scotsman fallacy by saying, no, there's some pure, perfect doctrine in this text that is not impugned, that is not touched by the historical experience of the disasters that have resulted from it. That's the position. That just we're means in you're equiv That's just like it means that you're just equivocating on the words, right? Socialism, communism. You just don't know what is meant by them, right? No, okay. You you, you think that's a reasonable are you, summation of my argument? Of so course. you think it's equivocating. You think it's equivocating to say that the actually existing government of Saudi Arabia is relevant to the discussion of the Quran and the Hadith as political documents and what kind of society you're going to have by putting those principles into practice. No, but of that's course, the, like that's it's relevant. It's, hey, you no, think it's, it's meaningless the, rhetoric it's and equivocating statement. to say a society built on class war and the other clear principles you can still, take into Marxism. you're still not getting it, right? Like, you just don't know what class war is even, right? Oh, I just don't like, know. Of course you don't know. <laughs> what is it? No, like, I you know. think you, you think know, that society, you think, 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 you think that Anywhere it says in Marx, right, that societies, right, function by being perpetually in class war. The point is that the point is that there's a distinction, right, what between what you say regarding class struggle, right, which we deem to be just like. Let me, let You're me talk. just a let liar. Me let me Karl Marx argues that society is constantly in a state of class war. That is Karl yeah, Marx's philosophy. That, that there is class struggle. struggle. You're just that, a lying sophist. That, no, you accuse me of equivocating? Are you fucking kidding me? What the, what the fuck, fuck are you doing? You're equivoc what, 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 of course it is equivocating. You're saying stuff like, you know... Uh, the well, you're lying. Union, the, you're saying the Soviet Union was communist, and somehow that's not equivocating on what we mean by communist. You think that the state, that the Soviet Union was stateless, moneyless class? You're claiming that Karl Marx doesn't think 
class warfare is part oh, of society. Oh, nice, nice evading that question, but nice evading that question, by the way. Dude, right? you're a lying sophist, and you're lying just, in order to state your support for how, regimes that are guilty of mass just, murder, on was, unbelievable scale, explain, unbelievable brutality. I was explaining was explaining right the view right which is that there is this ongoing thing that's this conflict between classes right but it doesn't mean that the whole of socialism is violence against like between two classes right socialism in fact makes it so or at least its attempt right I'm is to suppress right just one second just one second is to suppress one of the classes namely the bourgeoisie or the remnants of it right and for the proletarian class, right, to be the dominant class, right, for it to have a dictatorship, basically, right? That sounds really good. I wonder if there are it's historical called, examples it's, of what has happened to the great it's, dictatorship it's of called, the proletariat. It's a called <laughs> dictatorship of the proletariat, but it's not Stalinism. You're just like an idiot. Well, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's like... There's like yeah, very like, good this literature. This whole world you have. There's Why very won't you good accept literature. Any other ideology? If you think, if you think this view you have of the world is legitimate, would you accept mm -hmm. it if a Nazi said to you that the principles in Mein Kampf and in Adolf Hitler's philosophy, if a Nazi said to you that those principles, they have never been put into practice in the real world and that therefore you can't learn from the examples of what happens in real life when, the, when those are put into practice? That's irrelevant. And if a supporter of the Islamic State, a supporter It'd just of, be an uh, untrue state. Okay, It'd just so be, it be untrue. Good. So by the same token, it is just as untrue for you. Why? To, <laughs> Why? Do, 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 do you think that, that all, communism is never put into do you think, practice? Do you the think that merely do, do you think do you think that merely by the fact that these are two radical political positions that if one is false or incoherent, then the other is incoherent? Like so, on what no, level of no, horseshoe no, are you? What, look, sorry, I, I really do feel sorry. I, I assume English is your second language, so it may not be as yeah, easy. Yeah, of course it is. This. So I, I do I do no, it just seems like you're like a ram Right. If, that's, if that's I were having I this conversation understand. in Chinese, okay, what do you even know? Have you formally studied communism in university? Do you have any background? I mean, I don't get the experience. Well, I, I study political. I well study well. political. I study political science. I, fi I find so, it hard to believe. So I also have. Do you want my? Do you science. want my? I know a lot about communism, but you, you really you don't, don't see know me. a lot about communism. I didn't know. I didn't even know what communism was. You were saying that the Soviet so, okay. Union was communist. Okay, Get the fuck out of here. That's a great claim. Okay, so let's let's talk about that. Do I know what communism is? Have you lived in a communist country? What is country? communism? I've what lived is in communism? two. What is, I've lived in two communist countries. What does, were your what parents communists? Communist? Sorry, did you grow why up does, with communism? I was already reading Marx and Lenin as a no. child. I grew up with communism. Right, yeah, you haven't. Okay. Have you what studied you think, communism in university? What do you think communism is? What do you think communism is? What do you think communism is? How do you think communism is? Let me just ask you a question. What do you think communism is? Have you read one book on the history of Cambodia? What do you think communism is? Yes or no question. Have you read the history of Cambodia? What do you think communism is? Sir, you made the claim I don't know anything about communism. Why don't you tell me? Have you read one book on the history of Cambodia? Have you read one book on the history of Laos? Have you read one book on the history of China? How about we can go on to the Soviet Union? You don't seem to know much of anything. What is communism? I'm asking you this question for like a fucking thousand I, times just like I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay i'm going to answer your question in a manner that's consistent what is it what, what, what do you about. think marx think why don't you thinks, just jump in and interrupt me what yeah of course because <laughs> i just want to clarify it before you evade again right what do you think Karl Marx the had in mind right sense. or wrote down okay I'll, okay and, would you want me to what ask do you think or not? what do you you seem to be yeah, really let me asking the the question well, let me, so much. You don't want to let me an finish the question oh. <laughs> what do you think Karl marx meant by communism what kind of society is that my answer is, the answer to the question, what is communism, is completely parallel to what I was saying about Muslims creating an Islamic state. You were saying that you there were not equivocating on attempts, communism. There have been different attempts to take the principles written in a certain set of books, mostly the Quran and the Hadith, and to make them into a society in the real world. And you can see there's a difference between Iran and Saudi Arabia and the Islamic state, ISIS, recently. They are different. Is but they are all attempts to take the same so, principles, the same what text, principles? and put it into practice. Oh, okay, okay. In the the same same, why don't I finish my sentence? By because I thought you token, were talking about the communists having the same I, principles I am, as the Islamists. I am. Actually what? existing historical <laughs> communism. Actually existing historical communism are different attempts of different people to take the principles set down in those books, of course, including Karl Marx. Yeah. In the case of Marxist Leninism, Marx and Leninism. In other cases, including, you know, then Mao Zedong was added onto the canon. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you but starting it. with the same, in the same way that there are differences between different schools of Islam. and You got that wiki knowledge down. Those, those principles were taken and put in studies. We can draw conclusions about what happens empirically when you build a society on ideas like class war. 
because we can look at that history. And yes, each, I mean, the country of Laos was not a disaster in the same way as Cambodia. Cambodia, you can say, was not a disaster in quite the same way as Russia and so on. There, there were differences. And again, yeah, there's these Muslim states. But the, these, uh, what the only point I was making is that the historical record matters. And it's insulting and stupid for you to say to me that I, I own that historical record because no, I, I do you. and you don't. It's, the, it's, ju it's, it's just easy, right? Like, just considering these failures, which you just happen to label socialism because of your own fucking idiotic beliefs about what socialism is. So like, I, I then, label then you, Cambodia then you communist. Just let me, let me is talk, that it? Let me talk. It was my decision that they're communist. That was my... I labeled them communist. It's just, an, ev it's just, it's just an evaluation. This is no true Scotsman, fellas. Right, no. This is no. just How is no this no true Scotsman? You so don't know what a no true Scotsman is. Sorry. You use, okay. you use no true so you lose. At the end of it's the just like not an, an not like it's not that fallacy. It's just saying right that you, yes, it is. You're certain, saying, you're saying no, no true like, communists. You're saying no true communists would set up a horrible regime like Cambodia. Or it's, just very, it's just very, it's just very simple. It's just very simple, right? If I tell you, right, or if it's written, let's say in a book or whatever, that socialism is to be thought of as having X Y. Uh, sorry, sorry. As having I hope XYZ, you grow out of this, man. As, Dude, as you are XYZ, just as pathetic as, as a neo-Nazi. There's having, no difference. As having, as I hope, having dude, I, I was raised a communist. fucking idiot. I was a communist Why as a child. Not, you're not, a, you you're not a communist. You're just a fucking hope, idiot, dude. You're just making was, up shit, out too. You have Oh, I'm making up the history of Cambodia, right. You haven't read a single book about it. <laughs> right. Look, dude, I don't know how old you what are. What does this, this hope, have to do with this? I hope you grow out of it. You are just as pathetic as a neo-Nazi, making completely ahistorical claims about fascism. And indeed, the communists actually have a bigger body count than the Nazis. Dude, no, the cares? whole world, the whole world reviles and ridicules. Who cares about this nonsense? And you Come don't on. even know, want to know why, dude. I, I, I pity you, but I hope I hope you. But I, I have. Dude, I, I know what it's like. What, I know all the guy, propaganda, right, what this, and I know what the differences this, what between this guy what really was happened able, and what's in those books. The, what this guy was able to concoct, right, in half an hour, is one weak inductive inference, right. Right, which I like even before the debate began, right, I had given a more convincing analysis of the situation and why, you know, these regimes fell and did the things they did, right? Um I had given it even before the fucking debate started. I fucking BTFO'd this guy before the debate started. He like fucking was able to make one weak inductive inference a thousand times. It's just nonsense. And and rhetoric, of course. A fucking lot of rhetoric. I'm sorry, Young, but you're a neo-Nazi now. Of course. I'm changing your roles. I'm like, actually, I was actually like, really, this like, really, um, I guess, made me awake again. That was... <laughs> I was in like a serious slump. That went better, that went better than I thought it would. Wait, did, did the debate come to an end? Are we, are we done? I think so. I don't know, Isel, are you still there? I just don't want to anymore. I mean, like, blew my ever like he just like blew all my enthusiasm, all my happiness out of oh, my there day. He's he blew there. my high. I'm, I'm going to the gym, but anyway, yeah, I'm here at the moment. But I'm just gonna leave him to go to the gym. Okay, just let yeah, him let, on those let, let him and Young talk. If you guys want to talk after, that's fine. But let him and Young. Uh, I'm talk. fine. I, I don't fine. have anything more to say. I'm to yeah, oh, okay. of course, of course not. Okay. Dude, I, 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 getting... I really, I'm just sincere. I hope, I hope he grows out of it. It's really sad a... to meet people on the internet who are the products of this. Kind I of hope you, I hope you I've have a great day. I've got a question day. for Isol if Isol still is around to answer questions. I, you can talk to me. I'm, as I say, I'm just about to go through the door to the gym, though. Yeah, well, what do C, V, and S stand for in Karl Marx's capital? Such a great question, bro. I'm just so glad you asked that. Yeah, well, so what do they stand for? Comma separated values. Exactly. Yeah. So, so what do they stand for? I noticed I nobody else in here has anything to say. Does nobody else here have a principled opposition to people? Well, yeah, I do. I think we're just waiting for you to answer the question. And master, right? Oh, we'll be waiting forever. No, about this weak inductive inference. Look. 
Are you saying that the twentieth, the politicians of the twentieth century labeling something communism in the great propaganda wars of the twentieth century, is the essential feature that makes something fail? So if I come up with a set of principles and I want to implement them in the U.S. and I have a, I propose a bunch of bills, but I don't call it communism, then it's destined to maybe succeed okay. because it doesn't have the label. Okay, do, are, are the people in the Islamic State were they Muslim or not? Oh, oh so the principle that know? unites all these failures is that it's an analogy with Islam. Yeah, that's so weird. Wait, how stupid and dishonest yeah. are you? I'm very that stupid that and Cambodia dishonest. That's what Pol must Pol be happening right now. Communist. Sorry, Cambodia under Pol Pot, it's not my claim that they were communist. They, they self-identified as communist, and they explained to you that they work from this sacred text and put it into practice, right? So now, whatever the politicians many, of the 20th many, century self-identify as. Many orthodox Muslims would insist that the Islamic State were not really Muslim because they feel that only their own version of Islam is true Islam, right? So you, you understand the mentality there, okay? I'm not so adopting a fanatic the would say that. You as a fanatical communist, if you are one, you may not be willing to accept other real... It's a new, no true cosmic fallacy, very, very simply. That's all, that's all there is. No, it's only to say there could be good or bad implementations of something. It's not a purity test of there's the one true book with the one true thing, and I have the one true interpretation. That's a strong... Oh, you don't think that's happened in the history of Islam or communism? You don't think people have hunted down and killed each other for like, having the wrong it's interpretation just, of the book? Like, the point about so a weak inductive inference no. is you yes, haven't no. established... Is that, is that an element of communism or no? Hunting down and killing people who have a different interpretation of the book. Oh, Even was that Marx's idea? Stand, even within yes, it is actually. Oh, it's Marx. Marx said Mao sure. and Stalin sure. is is what sure. communism is defined sure. as. I actually read Marx, so you're not going to impress me with this claim. Sure, and Marx claims. Was he a time traveler? Is that how it works? Excuse me. Do you, Marx claims that all social change only happens through violence and only happens through class war, and he says that the French Revolution during the Great Terror didn't go far enough. That you should go further. Now, if you are familiar with the level of violence that he was endorsing in the Great Terror, the late period of the French Revolution. You know what that means. And communist followers like Lenin, they knew what that means, and they did exactly that. Yes, Marx endorses the persecution and massacre of the enemies of the of the vanguard. And that's exactly what the Bolsheviks did. Yes, it's in Marx. So you're saying as and long as I... Yourself. And if you don't know that, if you want to say you know Karl Marx so much better than I do, like Darth you're Dawkins full of shit. Level. But look, you know, either you're willing to learn from historical precedent or you're not. If, if somebody says to you that an Islamic state has never been tried, you would scoff. You'd say, oh, well, they, if they say a true Islamic state has never been attempted in this world. Well, that's that's not that meaningful. But you know what's really meaningful is admitting, you know what, communism has been tried again and again and again. And it was a, it was a disaster again and again and again. A little bit different each time. Wait. And you define communism as massacre of innocence. So if I don't Sorry, include that. Did, I answered communism. your question. Did you not hear? Did you not hear what I said about definition of communism? You, not you said that? you said that Marx advocated for you are, XYZ. You are so stupid. You are so <laughs> mentally impaired that you actually didn't get my direct answer to that question. That's happened repeatedly. The other guy, at least, English is a second language. You, I can tell, English is your first language. So how did you not follow that? Wait, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he just brought it back. Fucking. <laughs> this guy's Wait, cool. I just, I'm confused. You're cool. Like but I'm ready to. Uh, I'm, I'm, but I'm really happy that he mentioned me because it's like, you know. I'm I'm like in his mind right now. I just like BTFO them too hard. I mean, it sounds like we can advocate for like uh, the socialization and the means of production through struggle, as long as it doesn't include uh, massacres, and we don't label it communism. And uh, CVS here is down. So let, let me just let me just <laughs> ask: If you wanted to make alcohol <laughs> illegal, if someone proposed, hey, let's make alcohol illegal. You could then look at historical examples of different governments that have made alcohol illegal in the past or currently. Some Muslim countries. Now you can say, okay, what are the outcomes likely to be if we make a – by the same token, you could look at any particular principle within the communist corpus and say, okay, if you were going to put this principle into practice, what are the outcomes likely to be? And you'll find some variation. It's not going to be exactly the same every time, but that would be a guide to the type of consequences you're going to have from that principle. What, does that mean that every last principle of communism is the problem? Like, why don't you identify the problem? If you want, if you talk about learning from history, but you can't identify what is the principle that makes what, insertism so what, fail. See, what makes you think I can't? Why? Why would you say that? That's that's a really because it's asked really repeatedly of you, and you talk I about think Islam. You're equivocating. 
I think you're equivocating. That's that's your. It's problem. because you talk about Islam I, I every time you're asked about communism. That's why you dishonest sack of shit. <laughs> Islam, Islam, Islam. The Islamic State is the problem with communism. Of course, you are of that course. stupid. If you can't follow an incredibly simple, well-explained analogy, I sound stupid when I repeat back to you exactly what you're saying to us. Oh my god! Gee, I guess I lost the debate. I guess people should just sit and applaud for an ideology how, that kills how old is, how old is, how old is, people. Kills them. Hey, how? What is the principle? You wouldn't accept these excuses. What is the essential Muslims feature of communism that results in mass deaths? What's the essential feature? Well, we, we already talked. And don't, about don't, it. don't don't use the word communism and don't use the word Islam. That's not helping. Well, oh right. Don't use the word communism. Did, did I? Did I? Did I not already do this? Remember, I asked for. No, you I never did. Up. That's why we're still talking oh, about yeah, Islam. Dude, you're just a sack of shit. Well, okay, look, have fun <laughs> making up lies on the internet. Wait, Islam, I'm confused. Are you cool with bombing children in Yemen? Please, I just need to know this one question. Answer, please. Are you cool with bombing children in Yemen? Mary, what's the last book you read? <laughs> just tell me the title. Of the last book you read. <laughs> I just wanted to know one fucking answer. I'm not cool bombing children. It, Mary, I'm really I'm impressed, cool impressed by your intellect in this group. I really am. I'd like to just know. Or what's the book you're currently reading? What's the book you're currently reading? Um, I'm reading about... Um, <laughs> like, why is this relevant? Yeah, you sound why like you're making that up, questions? don't you? No, shut the fuck up, dude. You fucking dodge my questions. These, these don't people don't believe in, that I've read Karl Marx, and they insult me claiming I haven't read Karl Marx. I have nothing to do with communism. I don't think I don't think you read Karl Marx or anything, man. I'm not a communist. Shut the fuck up, dude. Okay, Mary, you know what? Why don't you talk to me after you read a book? We're going to do a book review together. You and me, okay? This is like some boomer, right? Like <laughs> yeah, you know, very boomer. Mary, very I'm reading, I'm reading Bernie Sanders reading. right now. It's irrelevant. So why don't you read it also, and we'll do a so book for you today? I'd really appreciate you want your perspective to do the once you read a book. Or five fucking <laughs> thing that like Isaac does. Answer Mary, I hope question, I hope dude. you're good looking because you're question. such a fucking it's idiot. No answer. Your personality you cool is about as appealing as banging my head against the glass window. Mary, I hope you're really good looking. Oh my Are you cool with bombing children in Yemen? Are you cool with bombing children in Yemen? Are you cool with bombing children? Jackal says she's kind of hot, actually. So I guess so. I guess that's how she's got through life this year. Are you cool with bombing children? I'll see. We'll do. We're gonna do a book review together. Are you cool with bombing children in Yemen? 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 Why won't you just answer that question? It's crazy. I can answer it. I would say no. I'm not cool with it. Fucking horrible. I'm not cool with bombing anybody, regardless of where they are. Are you cool? Yeah, Isol, why don't you choose uh, ideology you don't have to make excuses for? Like a third of deaths globally are probably attributable to capitalism by uh, large studies. Absolutely. Okay, now one person who I know wants to speak to Eisel, who's one of the uh, more reasonable and friendly folks in here, so maybe this one will go in a better direction, is Trip. So Trip, why don't you say what you've been wanting to say? Did he just no, literally leave? Uh, uh, no, oh no, my god. god. Oh, give me a bit. Give me a bit. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Trip's on a date with like some girl right now. <laughs> wait, no, wait. No, 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 we're done. The date's over. <laughs> the date's over. Wait, the date. I'm curious though. <laughs> Isaac, Isaac, are you cool with bombing children? In Damn. No, well, I'm, Isaac, I'm not cool, but I, I don't understand yeah, what I, the no, relevance I, is, I have to say, but I'm not cool with it though. I, 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 uh, I didn't think you'd be cool with it. I was just curious. Um, I don't know. The United States plays bombing like children in Yemen for like some reason. Uh, so does Israel, by the way. What? Capitalist Israel. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, like your commenters in text chat are actually fucking hilarious. There's like a few of them who are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Unleashed and Posey is just fucking amazing. Age of Ace is like so funny. Yeah. Yeah, I well, love young, the general chat. Wait, young, young. Now that you're a neo-Nazi, how does it feel? Empowered. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Him asking people to debate, but he can't answer one fucking question. Crazy. <laughs> and that's all I was curious about. Like it was me just being curious. He was cool with it. 
I think the problem is he just doesn't answer questions. <laughs> just well, yeah, basically. Right. Yeah. And so just just so everyone in the chat is clear, what the CV and ask question is meant to elucidate is that he's claiming to have read marks when from the outset, if he had read any marks, he would know what CV and S stand for. So it's just clearly evident that he has no clue what he's talking about. When people ask him what Marx is actually talking about, and to contextualize what he's saying, Isaac can't provide any of that. You know what's sad? I think there really are arguments to be made. Like if I think he can answer these questions, but he's just oh, not there's, doing it. He's there's, just it, not, there's, not. there's really good arguments. If you if you want to hear good arguments, just get like Nick on the mic or talk to Insup. Um, there's a whole host of people in this server who can provide arguments against what we're saying, but there's just none being provided. Yeah. Age of A said, A girl want to do a book review. <laughs> <laughs> Best pickup line of all time. Super flirt. Of course. Look, Please. Mary, you're an idiot, but also we should do a book review. <laughs> yeah. yeah At one point, she was just like review. going on because she had muted him. It was I'm going to teach you the like, leaves. It was like when Mary was like repeating the same question even after he started, like he stopped talking, like it felt like a fucking acid trip to me. <laughs> Like a K-hole or something, you know, it's you're like, just like in a bad trip. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kind of want to see like an hour-long debate between Mary and uh, and Eisel. That would be just amazing. <laughs> it would just, just, lock, just, it, just lock them in a the room and they're not allowed to leave. <laughs> oh my god. Just lock, just, just lock them in a room and they're not allowed to leave until one of them accepts like the proposition <laughs> of the other. Wait, what do you like, mean? It likely results in like question. Was even bad people. Be. I didn't even have a follow-up question. I just had a question. That was it. I was <laughs> curious. Like, what? <laughs> What's... I don't know. It's just it's so, it's so hilarious to like explicitly... <laughs> There's so many funny responses there. Oh, that chili recipe looks amazing. Uh, yes, Mary, just... Ignore all of the philosophical reading uh, and scientific literature that you read. What book are you currently reading? <laughs> Could you please yeah. give us the title and the author? I mean, I was, oh kind of, I, I was kind of disappointed that you didn't take the opportunity to say something really silly. Like it just, just like, just like my, my, just reading my Because novel. you have no game and no talent. That's <laughs> yes, what I'm saying. Oh, yes. Look, I get paid to talk, Are you cool bitches. Bombing I don't know why you think days. I'd give you freebies you cool talking about this communist shit. I'm Are just you getting pumped up. Why'd you come you're, here? You're really salty. You got destroyed. Are you yeah, Aizel, why did you come here? here? Aizel, why did you come here three nights in a row and been unable I'm to answer to help the basic Aizel questions? I'm trying to sex life, okay? I had a female friend what? who was trying to sleep with Isaac, so that's why I came here. Isaac and I already talked about Damn. She said she doesn't like your haircut, though, Isaac, which I think is... Damn. Wow, I don't want to say really my shit out of haircuts, haircuts, haircuts now. Really like <laughs> he's just like throwing I Isaac under yeah, the bus to like, <laughs> to, to kill, to, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gonna like kill Shade by throwing I like Isaac under the bus. It's like the meat shield. <laughs> but to be fair, I think Isaac has a better haircut, to be honest. That's true, Isaac has <laughs> a great haircut. Isaac has a great haircut. Yeah. Exactly. I yeah. love You guys I are sitting around so fucking so combing your hair while well, I'm well, doing fucking push ups and bench pressing 200 pounds. Or just for the sake of hair combing with a fucking 200 pounds. Mary, Mary Wait, for the sake of it. Hold, hold on, hold on. Mary, for the sake of it, what books have you read? Just curious. She hasn't read a book in a long time. No, just let her answer. Just let her answer. She spends all her time here on this um, What? Oh. Yeah, probably. I like to read Dr. Seuss. Um. <laughs> my favorite uh book is actually like the lorax or like um oh he left <laughs> what i what i really wish i was I, I was about to suggest before he left but next time he's here we have to get standpoint of water and him to debate free well why is he just why would he come <laughs> here and say like why would he come here and be like oh, you guys aren't paying me three nights in a row like uh, it's it's, it's nice. comp nice. well because he doesn't reject uh, communism really. He, he uh, in at a base level he has to know that what he's doing here is a social good. But he's not even arguing against the mechanisms of communism. He's just saying that well, well people are past right. That's that's so the, like the first night him and I interacted and I was asking him what his rejections of the LTV were. The second night Gizmo thoroughly debunked his understanding of the USSR. 
And then when we get to Young tonight, it gets even like more well, widespread. Manny where did. he's yeah. yeah, many well, many was like talking. Of, well, many didn't really get into the mechanism of the USSR because I don't think Manny's USSR history is like as great as Gizmos is or as yours might be. But what Manny did is just the conceptual objection of how silly it is to accuse a Leninist of being a Stalin supporter. <laughs> <But> <laughs> like it just doesn't follow at all. Yeah. Here's what he could have asked, and this is probably what I would have asked. 